In Kufa, Muslim was given a very warm reception and thousands of people swore the oath of allegiance to Imam Hussain salam at Muslims' hands. He was impressed and, guided by the enthusiasm and assurances of the people, he immediately wrote a letter to Imam salam advising him to come to Kufa. When Yazid learnt of Muslims' arrival in Kufa and the reaction of the people, he dispatched Ibn Ziyad as his governor to Kufa with instructions to force the people to withdraw their support of Muslims. When Ibn Ziyad arrived, he managed to bribe all the leading figures of Kufa to stop supporting Imam Hussein's message. The following message was announced. The Khalif Yazid will consider anyone who is found associating with Muslim bin Aqil, the deputy of Hussein bin Ali, to be a rebel. By way of punishment, such people will be hanged, their families put to the sword, and their property confiscated. If anyone has extended any help to him up to now, no harm will come to him as long as the support is withdrawn immediately. The time for prayers came, a Muslim rose to lead the prayer as he had done since his arrival. When he completed his prayers, he turned back to find the whole mosque deserted, except for Hani bin Urwa at whose house Muslim was a guest. The people of Kufa had all succumbed to the warning of the governor. Too cowardly to make a stand against this injustice, these were the same people who had deserted Imam Ali salam and Imam Hassan salam in their times of need. Muslim and Hani realized that their first priority was to get the message to Imam Hussain salam and warn him to turn away from Kufa. With a quick farewell, Hani ran out he knew that before he left Kufa, he had to do something to secure the safety of Muslims' two children. As Hani prepared to leave, his house was surrounded by armed soldiers. Hani drew out his sword, determined not to give in easily. However, he was hopelessly outnumbered and was overpowered, chained and taken to the governor. Meanwhile, Muslim left the mosque not knowing where to go. At last, he knocked on a door, tired and thirsty. The door opened and an old lady stood there. On learning his identity, she quickly invited him in, warning him that soldiers everywhere were hunting for him. This pious lady told Muslim to hide in her attic till it was safe to leave. Before retiring into the attic, Muslim told the old lady that he had to get an urgent message to Imam Hussain She assured him that her son would soon return and he was a noble young man who would do his best to help. When the lady's son returned, she explained the situation to him. In the morning, the traitor went and informed the governor of Muslims' whereabouts, thinking that there is a reward. When Muslim heard the approach of soldiers, he knew that he had been betrayed and had to leave. The soldiers, who were expecting a meek surrender, were surprised to see Muslim emerge from the house like an enraged lion. Muslim was no ordinary soldier, he had extensive experience and skill in combat and the enemies began to fall back under his attack. The leader of the soldiers sent word to the governor that they needed more men, a request that astounded Ibn Ziyad. Accordingly, they trapped Muslim with dirty tricks. His head was wounded and was dragged up, chained and brought to Ibn Ziyad. When Muslim was presented to Ibn Ziyad, he stood erect with dignity. Muslim asked for a messenger to be sent to Imam Hussein. This request surprised the governor, who expected a plea for mercy for Muslim sons, who had also been found and captured. In any case, he refused the request. Muslim then asked for his armor to be sold and his debts in Kufa to be paid with the proceeds. Agreeing to this, Ibn Ziyad then ordered that Muslim be killed. Allahumma salli